Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have not subscribed this channel yet, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification so that you will not miss any informative videos in future. In previous video, we have learned, what is RTD, and how to connect 3-wire RTD to temperature transmitter. If you have missed that video, you can find link in description box. In this video, you will learn, what is lead wire resistance in 2-wire RTD. So, let's learn, what is lead wire resistance in 2-wire RTD. As we know that, in practical application, RTD and temperature transmitter is mounted at different locations. So, we use 2-wire or 3-wire cables to connect RTD and temperature transmitter. These 2-wire or 3-wire cables has also its own resistance, which gets added in the resistance of the RTD. These 2-wire or 3-wire cables resistance is known as lead wire resistance. These lead wires produce measurement error in temperature reading, which I am going to explain in next slide. As you can see from circuit diagram of 2-wire RTD, lead wire resistance gets added in the resistance of the RTD, and because of lead wire, the measurement error also increases. The measurement error increases with increase of distance between the temperature transmitter in the RTD position. In this circuit diagram, R1, R2, and R3 are Wheatstone bridge resistors. And our lead is the resistance of that particular lead wires. And RT is the resistance of RTD. As you can see, this is an equation of Wheatstone bridge, when it is in balance condition. In this equation, Rx is the sum of RT and two lead wire resistance. So, it can be clearly seen from above equation that, the lead resistance introduce error in measurement. Let's understand this thing by taking two examples. As you can see in this example, we have taken RTD PT100. And the temperature coefficient of this RTD is 0.00385. Now let's assume that, we are measuring the resistance directly at the terminals of 2-wire RTD. In other words, we are measuring the resistance without any lead wires. After this, put the RTD in temperature bath, and set temperature of temperature bath to 200 degrees Celsius. And measure the resistance of RTD at its terminals. You should get 175.85 ohm resistance, which is correct measurement. In other words, the measured resistance of RTD shows the correct temperature readings. Let's take one more example to understand lead wire resistance in detail. In industry applications, we use a cable to connect the RTD to the temperature transmitter. This cable resistance is known as lead wire resistance, and it will add to the total resistance. For example, if we use two lead wires to connect RTD to temperature transmitter, and if each lead wire resistance is 1 ohm, and if we put all these values in this equation, then we will get 177.85 ohm resistance value. In this example, the temperature according to the total resistance value is 205.4 degrees centigrade, which is incorrect temperature. And if we calculate error, we will get 5.4 degrees Celsius error. In other words, the lead resistance introduced measurement error of 5.4 degrees centigrade. Dot. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. And if you have any questions regarding this video, then please ask me your questions in comment box. And I will try to give best possible answers to your questions.